McDonald's has a lot to celebrate right now as the burger chain holds its annual shareholder meeting today. Stock's been doing a lot better. But, you know, right now you get protesters. They're gathering outside of McDonald's World Headquarters. There they are. They're making their big push to raise the minimum wage to $15 at Mickey D's. I want to go to Jeff Locke. He's live there in Oak Brook, Illinois. And fill us in, Jeff. At one of the McDonald's of the future back there behind me, Trish. And the question is, does the future hold a $15 wage? As you report, stocks up, sales are up, profits are up. Folks that work there ask, why aren't our wages up? So big protest at the annual meeting today. I talked to one of the, uh, you know, the people in the crowd, uh, a young woman who has a five-year-old son. Uh, she says she gets paid nine dollars an hour at the McDonald's she works at. She doesn't get any benefits because they keep her under 40 hours a week, so she also doesn't get any overtime. She says it's just not really fair. And I said, well, why don't you just go get a job somewhere else that pays better? Here's what she replied. Life happens, and uh, I had to stay at McDonald's. And but I don't see why I have to pursue other things when I like my job at McDonald's. What's you wrong? Want to do anything else? I like McDonald's. Like I said, I like McDonald's. I've watched my mom do this work for 30 years. She worked for Hardee's. Watched her get up every day, go to work, do what's right as a hardworking American. And I've gotten in the business of fast food. I love working at McDonald's. I love my customers. I love my job. I know what I'm doing. They say that it'll be better for business, Trish, if they raise the minimum wage at McDonald's. If you take a look at the stock, as you report, it's been up lately, uh, I think up 24% in the last month. Not as much as some other fast food operators, but you know, McDonald's has 750,000 employees worldwide. It's a lot of people out there. That'd be a lot of extra money for an extra minimum wage. Yeah, means uh, those fries aren't going to be so cheap. Jeff Locke. Thanks so much. I want to turn to our very own Ashley I Webster. Still pay from whatever they ask for their great price. <laughs> they are I darn good. I got I would pay whatever they ask. So, so what do you think is going on here? I mean, it, well, this, it, like, what about the, the the law of supply and demand, right? Yes. The problem here is fifteen dollars. They're protesting themselves out of a job, or at least a much greater chance they'll lose their jobs. And the response from the fast food industry and others, they'll go to automation. Now you can get on an iPad, you can order there. They're doing there. that at Wendy's. They're doing right? it already. Um, listen, this is being orchestrated by the Service Employees International Union. They need more pay, do, you know, dues-paying members. So this is one way of recruiting. Um, ask Seattle, ask Portland what's happened in those cities with these incremental raises towards $15 an hour. The small businesses, the mom and pops can't afford it. They go out of business. Yeah, that's Bottom the line. I mean, it, you know, I understand. It, it was very, very eloquent people we were saying that were speaking to Jeff. I, I, I was they saying, you know, a points. woman with her child there, you know, yeah. you can't help but not feel for someone like that. Very eloquent people. They were definitely making the case. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, it's not going to pay 15 if, if there's no real skill involved. Yeah. They'll reduce unemployment. They'll reduce. They'll reduce their employment, and also they'll raise prices. We were laughing about the fries costing more. That's exactly what's going to happen. That's the consequence of forcing companies to pay a certain level yeah. of wage. Or they just, you know, they continue this automation, which is probably going to happen anyway. It's sad. You it's, know, you go to the airport now. You know, the the, the machines. I do just, all the time. Yeah. yeah. I mean. Put in your order. I know you travel a lot. You yes. Put in your order. I mean, that's that's going to be, unfortunately, the future. Yeah. And none of us like it, but that's the reality. Ashley Webster, thank you so much. Thank we'll be right pleasure. back.